Yes, come in. Oh, welcome. Have you been to counseling before? No. Well, um, there are a few things I could like you to know. I would like to assure you about confidentiality so that you feel free to express yourself and show and express yourself and let us figure out together how we can work towards getting an amicable solution to what you could be going through. So, uh, how may I help you? How? Can you help me? You should help me. Should you help me? Yes, uh, I'm here for you. What is the problem? My, my name is Jenk. Is it possible for a woman to exist in a male body? That we're both alive, yet we're nothing at the same time? Like a square box instead of a square. Ah, like a square box, I hear you say. Are you sure you are okay? Because I can clearly see a boy before me, and you do not have breasts, right? You have male clothes on, as I can see. Clothes should be genderless. Sorry, what? Never mind. The voice even never broke in the first place. Look, yes, sometimes the human mind can play tricks on us. It makes you get illusions that we are something more better than the rest and special. You know, falling in love, being and staying happy, having pain. It makes life easy in a way. But it's actually a folly. It's in the actual words a lie. Is it? What if it's some um, what if they're not thoughts anymore? What if it's something more touchy? Physical expressionist. Sorry like I can kiss it. You see, um no, you, you cannot be a woman. You are a man. Okay. It is unnatural for a man to be a woman and vice versa. You have a penis, right? Is it a penis that makes you a man? Is it breath that makes one alive? Then, or the death? I have all this heck. I have a huge penis, but... You are a man then. <laughs> you cannot put a butt after the word penis, okay? That is a bad way to... I'm not a great conversationist. Nor care even about the laws of grammar. I mean, grammar exists for man, not man for. A woman to exist must still be a man. I feel like there's a woman inside me striving to come out. I was born a man, yes. Have you tried going for uh have you tried going fully into psychological analysis? Maybe, just maybe you've had too much mental push-ups and your mind is going through a face. It is ungodly to think that a person who was born as a man actually can even be a woman in a way that is far from birth. Look, go and pray to your God that he takes away from you this thought, okay? There are a lot of things that are happening to you, there are changes that make you feel you should be important or perhaps not.